Good morning and welcome to today's art lesson on Vincent van Gogh. He was born in the Netherlands in 1853 and he had two brothers and three sisters. He did not have a happy childhood. He was sent to boarding school at a young age, which he hated. As a young adult, van Gogh worked as an art dealer travelling around Europe. When he came to England, he fell in love with an English girl at the age of 20. He settled here for a while and worked as a teacher in Islesworth and Ramsgate. He was quite clever with languages because he was able to speak and write in three of them, which was Dutch, French and English. He started painting quite late in life at the age of 37. In the 10 years that he did produce um, artworks, he managed to create 2,000 of them, over 2,000 of them. Most famous paintings, um, his most famous paintings were created in the last two years of his life. Sadly, he suffered from a mental illness, severe anxiety, which prevented him from leading a happy, healthy life. And he died in 1890, so he's still quite a young man. He painted portraits and landscapes. Now we've done portraits in our pop art um, work. And landscapes we looked at um, Constable's Haywain a few, quite a few weeks back now. Van Gogh used um, watercolours and oil paints. He is famous for using bright colours and bold brush strokes in his work. He painted in a style called Post-Impressionism. In 1879, Van Gogh's brother suggested that he become an artist. Uh, he ended up going to art school in Brussels and learnt um, how to draw. In 1882, he visited his relative Anton Mauve, who introduced him to painting with oil paint. In 1885, he produced his first important painting called The Potato Eaters. In 1886, he moved to Paris, where he discovered the work of some artists called the French Impressionists. So you can see here um, a, a small selection of Van Gogh's work. So if we look at the top left there, um, this is the potato eaters painting I mentioned earlier um, which he created in 1885. This work is um, quite sombre. Um, he used dark earthy colours because you can see there there's lots of browns and creams and he painted with smooth brush work and fine shading so here you can't see the brush strokes at all. In 1886 Van Gogh moved to Paris and it was here that he discovered the work of a group of artists called the French Impressionists, which I mentioned earlier. This style of painting involved using visible brush strokes, so you could see them this time, and vividly portraying light. He began using bright contrasting colours, such as blue and orange, and painting the local landscape. So the, the orange is quite evident in the middle picture there and the starry night is quite good for showing the visible brush strokes because you can really see them here, particularly in the sky um, near the near the sun. These new techniques were quite obvious in his later works which obviously influenced his style. So this week we're going to be concentrating on the sunflower painting and if you can see I've circled there in red one of the sunflowers and that's what we're going to be concentrating on for our sketching this week. So to start with I used soft pencil strokes to start with the main shapes in the middle of the sunflower. So I started with the centre shape first and then I added the two further shapes on the outside with the largest on the outer edge. Then I added in the stem and the green leafy parts at the back of the flower, um, trying to position them as best I could um, and 
looking at the photo just to make sure that it was fairly accurate. So the next one, I started to add in the leaves at the bottom of the sunflower, the individual petals, I should say. Um, so again, I was looking carefully at the positioning um, in comparison to the stem and the back green sections. Um, and also at the shape of them and the size, because those four individual petals that I've drawn are very, very different to each other. Um, so make sure that you keep looking back to check um, that you're doing, you know, getting those sort of details right. Then I started to add in the petals at the top. Now I started with the petals that were basically looked like they were attached to the top of it. So the ones that are in the foreground. So I started to sketch those leaves in that, um, that touched the outer circular shape of the um, middle of the sunflower. Then I added in more petals, the ones that were in the mid and, f and background. Um, I looked particularly where they were placed and how they overlapped each other. You can see some um, were curved, some were straight. So make sure you're looking at how they are um, placed um, in the sketch so that you, you're getting it as it should be um, looking at that photo. Next I started introducing some shading. So I started shading the darker green leaves and the edges of the petal. Um, with the dark green bits I've coloured in pretty much all of it apart from where the light hits the um, those particular parts of the sunflower. I introduced further shading where there were darker marks on the petals and I changed the shading for the leaves to the to a darker shaded pencil. Now you're going to use just one pencil um, but because I've used an apple pencil I can't use more pressure um, but with your drawing pencil, your sketching pencil, you will be able to do that. So darker, more pressure to, to get those really dark patches darker than the shading for the leaves. Um, I started to add in also the um, black for the centre part of the sunflower. Um, here I've added more shading to the petals and concentrating more on the centre sections again, um, introducing some shadow um, to the darker patches to start to bring it more to life, a bit more 3D. I've added more definition to the um, edges of the petals by using a darker outline, so they're going to stand out better now. Um, I kept comparing my work to the photo um, to make sure it was as accurate as possible. So keep doing that every step of the way. So the last bit of shading was to the darker centre shapes now. Um, and again, I kept checking back and I did tweak as I went along. I realised maybe something wasn't in quite the right position or the shading needed to be um, changed in some way. Keep referring back and then you'll get the best results. So the task for this week, you need to carefully sketch the single sunflower, which I showed you how to draw step by step. So watch the video again. Um, get to a point, um, pause it, draw it and then continue on to the next step. So do it little by little and take your time with it. Um, that way you're going to end up with the best results. Then I want you to evaluate your sketch by writing what you felt you did well and what you could improve on for next time. Please note that only those who upload both the sketch and your evaluations will have fully completed the assignment and get a grade. So remember, think about how well 
uh, you might have drawn the petals or the shape of the sunflower or it might be you were really pleased with your shading. It might be that you weren't particularly happy with something that you did. Um, please sort of explain um, how you think you've done um, because it's good to develop your art skills because you know that next time you do it, because we will be doing more work on this, you can make it better for the next time that you actually sketch. So any questions, message and good luck.